right, welcome back, uh, Ronald's Modern Life. This time, not in Austin, but in the beautiful Bronx. Uh, we're actually recreating the Warriors today. We're going from the Bronx to Coney Island. Uh, I prefer Coney Island. It's a nicer neighborhood, at least for me. Uh, I went to school there for four years. Uh, Richard, on the other hand, because he lives in the Bronx, he didn't really go to Coney Island all that much. So I introduced him to the neighborhood and uh, he liked it. It's actually, oh look at this, what's happening over there? Bronx neighborhoods. The plan actually also is to maybe move to Coney Island. Um, the goal is to maybe to get an apartment uh, next year. And Coney Island is one of uh, the neighborhoods that we're looking at. Just because it's calming, that nice ocean air. And the best part about Coney Island is everybody who doesn't live there, whenever you tell them, oh, I'm moving to Coney Island, or I'm going to Coney Island, they say, Coney Island, that's so far. And I say, great, don't come visit. <laughs> and then, um, and then uh, every morning you get that, that nice mist and that, you know, that fog and that smell. It's nice. So we're going to go. We haven't been there, I think, in two years. I may do the Cyclone and I may do the Thunderbolt. I'm not sure. Um, but the goal really is just to walk around and bring some calm to my life. Uh, since we came back from Austin, my life has been hell. <laughs> so I need just to rest a little bit. So that's it's the plan. It's also going to be a little special for me because I haven't been to Coney Island. At least it's my, my first panic or anxiety attack. So it's kind of also a step out for me to just kind of go and enjoy myself again. Also because the Bronx makes him tense. Speaking of the Warriors, we're at 14th Street. The queue is going via the R line. So we're gonna get to Coney Island probably in about five hours. Pretty much two hours later, <laughs> we are finally in Coney Island um, looking at apartments. No, no, we're not doing, no, <laughs> no. Not yet, not yet. Uh, I'm soaking in my high school uh, realness. Yeah. Pre-looking. Pre yeah, we're pre-looking for an apartment. While I look and around and say, what changed in the couple years that I've been here? <laughs> so far, a, a little bit. See, look, it's very peaceful here, despite the fact that there are kids. Kids make me anxious. Um, but peaceful. It's peaceful. And we're not even really in, I mean, we're in Coney Island, but it's not, you know, Coney Island, Coney Island. We'll get there soon. I'm just showing him the neighborhood so that if we do move, he knows what we're getting ourselves into. So we're here at Neptune and something. And uh, all these, so this used to be like a little like strip mall. I remember getting pizza over here in high school. Now it's, it's nothing. Over there, it's all fancy, but over here, dead. It's upsetting. So I tell Richard, let's walk down Ocean Parkway again. Just turn back around and walk where we came. He says, no, I want to walk to West 8th. But we get here and it's a dead end. I didn't know. Yeah, he didn't know. So now we're walking back to West 4th. To then go to back. Banner streets. Yeah, so we finally made it, thanks to my directions. Right before I was recording, he was checking his phone. No, I was. Uh, look at the view. I took a picture of it for Instagram. And then him, head down in the phone. And now we get to the more crowded and louder part of the boardwalk. I also decided that I may not go on the cyclone. Um, if the cyclone beats me up, then it's a two hour ride back home, and I don't know if that's really a good idea. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna postpone my cyclone to another day. I still may go on the Thunderbolt though, and I will definitely go on the Wonder Wheel. Pay no attention to that copyright music in the background. Change of plans, the Thunderbolt is $10. It's 10 credits, each credit is a dollar. I'm not, I'm not spending $10. And there it goes. Where is it? There it goes. I would go on it, but not for ten dollars. At least not today. Maybe another day, but not today. Not for ten dollars. No. That's gonna be a no from me. So I'm gonna see how much the cyclone is. If it is reasonable, I'll give it a shot. I think $10 for the Thunderbolt, at least right now, no. Next time, definitely. But I wasn't mentally prepared to spend $10 on one ride today. It's also $10. Um, but this one, I don't know. It's a classic. 
I've never been on it. Let's go. So it looks like he's actually gonna do it. He's gonna get on the cyclone. There he goes. So as you probably guessed, I took over for Ronald while he gets on the cyclone. Um, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get a video of on it. Yeah, there he is. It looks like he's waiting on the, the platform subway. He's waiting for a train. Oh yeah, there he is, he's getting on board. So this roller coaster has been around for just about 90 years, maybe even a century. Oh, this is 1927, so a little under a century. And it's wooden, so it's gonna be a little rickety. There he goes. And there he goes. Huh? Coming around. So, how was it? Okay, so how was it? Don't mind that vertical video. It goes up, it goes down a lot. It goes. Yeah, it's up and down. A lot of drops. Uh, a lot of air time. Like you like, like you like definitely get out of your seat a lot more. There was no one sitting next to me, so I was like sliding around a little bit. But it was fun. Uh, I, I think that was worth ten dollars. Oh, oh. Look at the guy behind. Look at the guy behind. Oh. That's evidence that I was on it. But yeah, I'm I'm from Brooklyn now. I did the cyclone. And then finally, the Wonder Wheel, the one ride I have no problem paying. Whatever it is, I gotta pay. Here we go, first one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he forgot that it does that, I guess. Scared. Yeah, I... <laughs> I've never prepared for the first one. I've never prepared for any of them, but yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't noticed, I made it to the Wonder Wheel. I did pay for the credits for the Spookorama. So we're gonna go on that because... Halloween. Halloween, why not? I'm sure it's stupid. This is why I wanted to go at sunset for that view and you could also see the city right there all right hold on because we're next to go <laughs> so i think this is why i want to live here I mean, of course right now i'm on the top of the wonder wheel but you know it's this type of calm even though there's people screaming over there. But uh, it's this type of calm that makes me wanna wanna live here. Seeing it's that. That's why I wanna live here. Also look, there's a Tesla there. Look, someone's parking and charging their Tesla in Coney Island. All right, we're gonna go on this ride. I don't know what to expect. A little longer than a few minutes later. I hated that ride. And Rich is taking a picture of me now. He's paying for it. Ridiculous. <laughs> look at this. And this is the photo that he's buying. What a mess. Oh, look at look at the hair after a day of rides that scared the hell out of me. Uh, and of course, to end the day, Nathan's, of course. Also, my lip is red because Richard, when he was getting into the Spookorama ride, he bashed my mouth with the bag. Oh my God. And then... I didn't know that. I had that experience in the Spookorama. So you know. Yeah, no, it's fine. I didn't know I bashed you. Yeah. And for dinner and lunch, some Nathan's. He got seafood. Corn shrimp. But you know, I got my two hot dogs and my fries because, and my medium coke, which is huge. My orange egg is huge. Right? Yeah, because he got a large, so we were confused by the sizes. So that was our day in Coney Island. 
pretty much at this point we're just gonna head back to the train um, but this is a nice way to end it I feel got the water behind me over here we got Luna Park and yeah uh, I went on the cyclone for the first time I did the Wonder Wheel and uh, I was gonna do the Thunderbolt but for ten dollars next time um, yeah I mean it was a nice night um, we're gonna I think sit here for a little while and then call it a day or call it a night rather and then head back to the Bronx unfortunately I'm very very happy here I don't know why every vlog ends sadly because like Austin ended sadly it was me being like oh back to New York and now I'm like oh back to the Bronx I don't know what's happening um, yeah, oh, I made it happy uh, once again thanks for watching um, I am heading to Vegas in about two weeks or so um, and I will definitely be vlogging from there so be sure to subscribe uh, and also like the video if you enjoy uh, chilly fall nights with an ocean view. Alright, good night guys. See you next time.